Greetings. Hello. Hi. Hey. Thanks for stopping by, Planet Earth. I'm going to be doing some watercolor for you today. Some freeform watercolors. I'm not using reference. I'm just pushing around paint, as some people would call it. And I'll call it that too. I'm using a Winsor & Newton half pan watercolor set comes with 14 colors. The link for that is in the description, along with all the other materials that I'll be using in this video. And right now I'm using a Royal and Langnickel wide flat brush. And whenever I use my Royal and Langnickel wide flat brush with my Winsor & Newton half pan set, I say, out loud, Royal and Langnickel meet Windsor and Newton. And then I imagine a battle is taking place when I start rubbing the paint and the brush together. This Windsor and Newton half pan set was the first watercolor set that I bought back when I worked at the arts and crafts store. I used my employee discount on top of a clearance sale that they were also having. I don't think it was a clearance sale, but it was a sale. And it keeps my setup pretty small. And I like to be kind of compact. I like to be hunkered down with a cup of coffee and my watercolors and my brushes. I've had it ever since, and I've bought other ones ever since. You'll notice that I've squeezed out some paint from tubes on there. And that might make you think, if it's so great, why don't you use the colors that come in it? Well, because I've either run out of those colors, or they didn't come with it in the first place. And I don't think that there's a watercolor law about using tubes with a pan set. I don't think I'm on trial here, am I? I could find out that I'm in some kind of Kafka novel that's set in a watercolor world where I'm going to be arrested for a crime that I didn't know that I've committed and no one will tell me about. And I'll be like, what did I do? What did I do? Please tell me. And they'll say, oh, you'll find out. And then I spend like the rest of my life just jumping through bureaucracy hoops in this watercolor world trying to figure out what did I do what did I do and it turns out unbeknownst to me that there's a watercolor law in fact on the books that you cannot use tube watercolors with a pan set This painting, I go deep into mixed media. I started with a watercolor wash, added some ink, and then some gouache on top of that, and then some clear gesso on top of that, and I let that dry for a day. And then I added some Prismacolor New Pastels, link in the description, and then added some acrylic on top of that. The whole process is adding a flat tone, adding some shadows, adding some highlights, doing a wash over it, dropping everything back to a mid-tone, and then going, finding the shadows, finding the highlights. And I like working this way because it's a very intuitive process. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to prevent me from selling my soul to the devil, 
please consider going to my website, parkerwineins.com, and supporting me by purchasing a print or a piece of merchandise, or simply by sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you.